this is Mauricio here with Tico Lazy Creations and today we're gonna be doing an unboxing video for this super cool machine I got from my friends over at Haotian Laser and yes the man Pascal Liu All right, what we have here is the honeycomb and what we are opening today is one of uh, Haotian lasers. Uh, this is the RF tube from Haotian laser. This is the HT 460 RF. This machine is supposed to be incredibly fast and the only thing that we're gonna be doing here is doing the unboxing today, but we have some really cool comparison um, data that we're gonna be doing. Uh, this machine is comparable to uh, the Bolt uh, lasers from um, Thunder Laser. And actually, this one will be more comparable to the uh, Thunderbolt Plus. Comes really nicely packed, so there's no problem with the chip in it. Now let's talk about this Ruida controller. It's one of the latest ones, and I really like that you have the 6-inch LCD screen on top of all the buttons for the different functions are separately so you don't have to go inside the menus to figure out what's what to move etc etc all right so inside we find this foam box that uh, has this cable and that cable it is the rotary cable for the servo motor and of course the ethernet cable and usb cable uh, to complete all the cables right. we will need so what we have here this seems to be Oh, the rotary jaws. There we go. Yes, this is the rotary tool uh, jaws. And uh, this is for the shock rotary. There you go, my friend. Getting some more goodies here. We have the blades for the blade table. And these are the attachments for the rotary that allows you to do uh, spheres, etc. And uh, of course, the rotary. This is a a nice rotary, not just a regular super heavy uh, chalk rotary. So I'm pretty looking forward to that. Following, we find the keys for the front panel and uh, the focal length uh, tool there. Other than that, let's see what else. Okay, let's talk about the C axis here. This is pretty roomy, There's, uh, enough room to get the rotary and a bunch of different uh, items, you know, tumblers, and I think you can get, you know, a good uh, uh, size tumblers or uh, small dog balls in there. Uh, the lightweighted uh, head, and of course, the uh, totally enclosed um, belt system. Uh, so you don't have to be cleaning up that much. And the idea is that, you know, if that gets less dust and less things, uh, the machine can you know, keep going at those speeds uh, at all times. Um, so the X and the Y are pre-enclosed, uh, uh, minimal uh, room for all the crud that normally comes out of the uh, engravings, etc., to go into the machine. Right, we're gonna do a little walk around the HT 460 RF with a 40 watt uh metal tube and kind of see what we find in here but right, the first thing i see is i love this handle we're also going to cut this zip tight thing 
and now we have our gantry is freed up we're moving to the next thing now but in this one you can actually open the back piece over there and it slides the piece uh, pretty much you know as far as you want so you could do here a um, the width by eight feet if you like so you could do that with this uh, because this is a a true pass through not like some other uh, uh, machines that only has the front and doesn't get all the way through the back and I really like the sealed kind of uh, system that it just helps keep things clean and uh, not getting dust and stuff like that so you have a, a sealed uh, gantry there and both sides in the Y and the C is sealed uh, nice uh, the lights in there are also sealed and uh, the ultralight uh, head so the machine is able to um, accomplish all those uh, speeds up to 1500 millimeters a second of engraving. All right, just a quick walkthrough so on this side we have the USB interface uh, just to plug in your USB uh, this over here would be the side that has your main board your uh, drive power supply the main board power supply a couple of um, relays and stuff like that and also your uh, motor drivers so that's all we have in this side we also have a little uh, door here that uh, it just give us access to the motor of course we have here the uh, panel control uh, the um, emergency stop and this is the status light that tells you if the machine is working on something we have the door which again I really like that the style handle and then this one here we have the little door that you can lower and you know get this thing straight so you can do the pass through that's in that side all right in this side we have also another little door here this one is to access your uh, second mirror and adjust that mirror we're gonna be working on how to change that and how to adjust that but uh, it's kind of a nice little access door for that um, and then this one just give you access to uh, the combiner we have here another uh, door and this one what it has is the uh, power supply for the laser All right, again in the left side we have a door that gives us access to the um, uh, adjusting the uh, second mirror and that's pretty much what it does in that one in there and then this other panel over here just give us access to the uh, laser power supply but there's nothing else in this side so that's the laser power supply in there and this little door give us access to the beam combiner now moving into the back of the machine we have a couple of things here going on we have the uh, pass-through uh, gate that opens up and it stays up nicely in there so you can have your material goes back uh, through the machine also here we have the access to uh, your laser unit this is your laser tube this is a metal laser tube uh, air cooled and this is of course a Davy um, or Davy uh, 40 watt laser tube it's a really nice as you guys know um, this brand is pretty much the best brand of uh, metal tubes in China um, all the motors of course there are servo motors and here we can have we can see this is the uh, first mirror and that's the beam combiner over there then you can access to the little panel door on the other side 
but that's pretty much here we close that and finally we have the bottom door here that just give us access to this compartment that has the uh, exhaust port it comes with its own um, 110 volt uh, extraction fan in there as you can see I don't know how that uh, you know how good that is or not we're gonna have to try it and then um, we'll report on it and it has this is a air pump finally here we have uh, a couple of extra plugs then we'll see you know what they are, can be good for and of course our power uh, inlet in there and the on off button um, so I think the next thing here is just to fire this thing up and see if uh, if everything is good. All right, we're gonna go with the fire of the. Oh, we can hear the fans and the laser tube going. Oh yeah, these are going for sure. Interesting, you know, like one of the best things about a uh, metal uh, laser tube is that you don't need that big chiller, the water chiller. Um, here, everything moves the way it's supposed to, and the C axis actually has quite a lot of room. I'm actually quite uh, impressed by it. So I'm looking forward to see uh, what can we put in there with the rotary. I think it's gonna be, you know, like there's enough room for many things there. So maybe like small dog bowls and uh, put, do the tumblers and that uh, rotary and stuff like that. So the other thing I noticed here, and this is a honeycomb that is a, a metal honeycomb. It's not an aluminum. So these can, you can use magnets into it and stuff like that. That's actually pretty cool. All right, these are just a couple of pieces I ran uh, really quick. Uh, still working on sites and all that stuff. We're gonna be doing a video where we're gonna be doing some tests and uh, sharing some settings for the machine. It's incredible. This machine can go up to six times faster than my regular CO2. Shout out to uh, my friend Pascal Liu at Houghton Lasers. And um, stay tuned, subscribe, like the video, until next time, Tico Laser, out.